And in other news, the risks of relying simply on solar batteries for lunar exploration were well demonstrated by neighboring Japan earlier this year. That being said, a research team here has developed and tested a nuclear battery instead. Our Chai Yun-kyung has more. Japan became the fifth country in the world to land on the moon in February, but the spacecraft had a problem with intermittent contact. This was due to damage to its solar panels that charged its solar batteries, the major source of electrical power. It is possible that the panel of the solar battery was not pointed at the sun, not as it was originally planned. On the moon, it is impossible to see sunlight for 14 days when the lunar night comes. During this period, some devices can suffer permanent damage. This is why it is impossible to explore the moon by relying solely on solar batteries. A national research team here made a small 10-watt atomic battery using a plutonium isotope in 2022 and sent it into orbit on the Nuri rocket. The battery endured the launch and separation processes and stably produced 120 milliwatts of electricity for a year and a half while in low Earth orbit. As the battery was exposed to radiation and extreme temperatures, it served as references to show that the atomic battery we made might be able to work stably for more than two years in space. The Korean atomic battery that has been tested this time will show its ability for moon exploration in 2032. The only countries that can produce and use atomic batteries are the United States, Russia and South Korea. Cha Yoon-kyung, Arirang News.